Good day. Let us discuss the nature of learning and the classical theories of learning. No? By the end of this topic, we will be able to know the physical pattern of developmental theories, such as cephalocaudal pattern, proximodistal pattern. Ganon din yung common developmental theories ni Haviger's stage of development and Sontrack's developmental tasks. What is learning? It studies how learners change their knowledge caused by their experiences. No? And itong change na to, lalo na sa education, no? it has to be a change in terms of cognitive, yung uh, mental uh, processes, no? yung the power to define, to relate, no? to uh, determine, and uh, change uh, affective domain no the the change that will occur where a learner will empathize no change that behavior that value system that emotion no to initiate a response to a given problem in the society or the given situation no and uh, lastly yung change na mangyari sa psychomotor it requires concrete action no you execute yung learned behavior sa cognitive, ganun din sa affective. Ganun din sa knowledge, skills, and attitudes. No? And uh, under theories of learning, learning describes purposes and studies how learners uh, receive, process, retain knowledge, skills, and attitudes during learning process. Yun yung heart ng theories of learning. And uh, before... Ang pioneer ng theories of learning ay tatlo. Cognitive, something that uh, being processed in the mind. Behavior, something is acquired from the envi environment. Constructivism, something you form no? from your learned experiences and associated sa day-to-day -day experiences or context. And ngayon ay meron namang emerging uh, concepts such as uh, yung mga isms, uh, experientialism, reconstruct, uh, itong constructivism, and uh, social. No? Uh, when it comes to physical uh, theory of development, there is a two concept na distinct right from the birth, no? right from birth. Ito yung cephalocaudal and proximodistal development. And when we say cephalocaudal, ang principle dito ay yung development ay nangyayari from head to toe. According sa psychologists, ang ating head ay bigger than our body, lalo na nung tayo nasa womb. And then pinanganak tayo, mas, um, mas distinct at mas kapansin-pansin ang development at focus ay nangyayari sa head. No? The child starts the power to control his or her head, then later arms and legs. It means head to toe, no? yung cephalocaudal, from the word cephal or caudal, no? head. So one week to two months after birth, yung head and face movements, yung focus, no? may head control. And then two months and up, mapapansin na natin yung holding and grasping things, crawling, standing, walking, no? And then me leg controls na. And uh, as a development, I of course phys physical development of course at the top, the head, in terms of size, uh, weight, and weighs it down to bottom, so it's neck, shoulders, trunk. So it is head to body or head to toe physical development. Sa proximo distal naman, the child's development starts from the center of the body towards the outer parts of the body, from spinal cord towards hands, fingers, toes. The development of motor skills to start at the center uh, of and repeat towards from there. No? So infant will first learn to move their torso or trunk, and then uh, their arms, legs, no? so from limbs to finger, limbs to finger center to outward. So that is proximodistal. Cephalocaudal head to toe. No? 
proximo distal center to outward. Proceed tayo sa uh, developmental theories ni Havigerst. So development is continuously throughout, uh, continuously occur throughout the entire span. Can understand through specific tasks. No, when one successfully accomplish a specific task, yon ma acquire a happy, pride, satisfied. Kung nag-fail naman no, to accomplish a particular task, unhappy, may sense of approval issues. No? Sa first stage, sa infancy no, and early childhood, ito ay saklaw nito ay birth till five years old, we learn how to walk, talk, take solid food, uh, control elimination of body wastes, uh, sexual differences, and modesty. So it's better not to insist uh, wearing uh, inappropriate dress to a boy, no? And pang babae, pagpapaldahin natin. At yung mga uh, babae naman pagdadamitin natin panalaki, magkakaroon sila ng confusion sa sexual differences, no? Social and physical reality, they also learn to form relationship with their family members, no? Kasi dun sa, uh, during birth, no? Yung weeks na yon wala silang uh, thinking na yung mother, father, no? Ako ng thinking ay more on uh, pleasure. If they experience pain, they will cry, no? And then someone will uh, will go and then provide their needs, no? Change their diaper, no? So they maximizing pleasure, avoidance of pain. And it's the time uh, na uh, nag uh, reaching or going to early childhood na unawaan nila yung relationship with family members. They're ready to learn to read. Na? Sa middle childhood, from 6 to 12 years old, the uh, individual will learn physical skills. Get along with age mates, similar age, no? Uh, to be with appropriate sex, no? The role of, uh, discovering the role of masculine and feminine. Yung three R's, no? reading, writing, arithmetic, uh, uh, starting to understand or, or understanding the morality or moral concept, no? yung acceptable with other people. Learning emotional independence. No? So nandito na yung not only I in the world, unlike sa infancy and early childhood. When they're not comfortable, they will cry. They hunger, they will cry in the middle of the night as if yung world ay nag-umiikot sa kanila. And then dito naman sa middle childhood, they accepted that hindi lang sila ang tao sa mundo. No, natututo sila na tuloy ang makisama sa kapwa. Under adolescence, 13 to 17 years old, si iba naman 12 to 18 years old, individual achieve mature relation with both sexes. The reason why sa adolescence, Commonly, ang mga kabataan ay into same-sex uh, friendship, no? tropa clicks. No? And they also uh, continue learning how to be emotional independent with their family. So if uh, there will be insistence from the parents that to tell uh, the secrets, ano yung nangyayari sa buhay nila, sa school, sa sarili, no? There are times yung mga anak ay they rather choose to be independent, not to share, no? And instead, they will share this with their friends, no? Uh, kung sa middle childhood, they focus on the masculine and feminine identity. Dito ay mas, mas uh, kinukonsider yung gender over sex roles, no? And uh, they uh, also appreciate one's physique. No, uh, dito sa 13 to 17 or 12 to 18 years old, they try to court, no, uh, opposite sex, and, uh, and as a preparation for marriage, parang training, no, parang tinatry nila. Uh, this is the practice of uh, their married life, no. They also prepare to economic career. They will consider what to choose sa college no at yung profession na tatahakin nila 
and uh, they are trying to be part of a bigger society. No? Sa early adulthood, 18 to 35 years old, dito na yung actual selecting a mate, usually. No? And uh, achieving sexual or gender role, learning to live with a partner, starting a family, rearing a children, rearing children, no? managing homes, starting occupation, and ready for civic and political duties. Sa middle age, 36 to 60 years old, uh, this couple or individual help teenage children to become responsible adults. They share their value system, their cultural heritage, non-material and material culture, beliefs, no? norms, yeah, practices. No? Isineshare na nila sa kanilang mga anak or sa mga kabataan. No? They achieve social and civic responsibility. Membership sa mga uh, religious or social civic organizations, no? private sectors. They, sa they achieve the satisfaction to career achievement. They spend their time uh, with uh, meaningful activities, travels, with their friends, no? Of course, dito na nag-upisa yung physiological changes sa ramdaman, no? Sa later maturity, over 60 years old, they continue to help children to become more responsible adults, uh, achieving social and civic responsibility, fulfilling, no? Satisfied to career achievement, no? They also experience grief of loved one, no? They also meet social and civic obligations, retirement, and they experience reducing income. Kay Santrak naman, ang kaibahan nito, no? kay Javi Kurst ay anim, kay Santrak ay walo. Uh, Santrak recognized the prenatal period no? at yung isa ay dito sa uh, infancy. No? Mas uh, inelaborate niya yung uh, stage na to, unlike dun sa nauna na diretso siya sa infancy and early childhood. So from prenatal, uh, Santrak recognized that there's a single cell to an organism complete with brain and behavior capabilities. Para sa kanya dito na nag-umpisa yung task from conception to birth, from germinal to uh, embryonic period, to fetal period, hanggang sa maging uh, ganap na siyang infant sa labas ng womb ng, bat, ng parent or ng mother. So sa infancy, uh, 18 to 24 months, nagkakaroon na ng dependence on adult ang infant. Kapag wala, iiyak. Lalo na kung yung isa ay nagnonores sa kanya, ano, nagbibigay ng gatas, nagbibigay ng pagkain. No? They start learning language. Ang focus nito ay more on sensory motor, no? movements, coordination of body no? and senses, perception and sensations. Social learning. However, child is helpless. They, they need to survive. No? They are not comfortable. Cry if they hung, are hungry. Cry. Kung may pupo, iiyak. No? Sa early childhood, 2 to 5 years old, individual will develop school readiness skills. They spend time in play with peers. No? Uh, preschool to grade 1 they care they beginning to care for themselves no kaya mapapansin niyo may mga schools na like Montessori school na they are brushing their teeth cleaning their shoes uh, change their clothes if they get wet uh, clean their uh, meals no? sa middle and late childhood 6 to 11 years old dito consider na soundtrack yung three hours reading writing arithmetic no they also embrace culture as uh, these adolescents uh, be with uh, their friends who have this different backgrounds or culture uh, na dito rin nila natututunan yung self control no uh, achieving different uh, uh, skills knowledge aptitudes uh, talents no skills yeah no they also explore, explore a uh, larger world, no? yung culture. 
sa early uh, sa adolescence, no? 10 to 12 years old to 18 to 20 years old. More on 22 years old, mas focus dito ay yung physical, no? Uh, individual gains height and weight, body contour, enlargement of bodily parts, pubic and facial hair, deepening of voice, pursuit of emotional independence and identity. They become more logical. They process abstract thinking. They become more idealistic. More time is spent outside the family. Sa early adulthood, late teens to 30s, they start establishing economic independence by achieving career development, selecting a mate, in experiencing intimacy, and starting a family and rearing, a chil uh, ch rearing children. No? Sa middle adulthood, 40 to 60 years old, they expand personal and social involvement, assisting the next generation, could be their uh, apo or anak. No? They share the norms. They share the practices. They share the cultural heritage, material, non-material culture. They feel satisfied with their career. They experience love, acceptance, but they also notice the change of color, change of color of the hair, having wrinkles, no, in physical changes. Sa late adult to the band, 60s and above, no, ito na yung uh, decreasing of health and strength. Going back, no, para katulad dun sa infancy, they also experience poor coordination. You will notice their beta behavior, emotion, thoughts, and actions. They have this, uh, there are times they will share their life, no, there's a life review. They experience retirement. They also uh, adjust to new social control. 